and finally we reached 20000 subscribers <laughs> not bad yes so the other day around sunday almost when i was doing the live session near about that time i guess somebody told me that you reached 20000 subscribers and i was like hopefully <laughs> all right so thank you to each one of you who have subscribed to my channel recently and who had subscribed long 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 back from 5th march 2017 is it <laughs> almost two years now so it feels nice to know that uh, so many people are watching you although there are so many channels in youtube where there are billions and trillions of subscribers <laughs> all right so that is what i wanted to say just a thank you and yes i also wanted to tell everybody that there are around 700 videos in my channel 600 plus i mean near to 700 so i have different playlists like the astrology basics playlists play, playlist which contains many videos on basic topics of astrology then there is the omg astrology secrets that has more than 100 videos so uh, that playlist contains many topics within astrology which are sometimes not discussed in youtube or in forums or in webinars and there are many videos on remedies also on the in in that playlist and there are many videos on remedies which will come in future in that playlist okay so that is one playlist you can watch and then i have the bhagavad gita playlist so there also i have around 50 60 videos i guess and I have the Shimad Bhagavatam playlist. There also I have maybe around 10 to 15 videos. I don't know how many, but not much. But I'm going to put more videos on that playlist uh, as we keep going once a week, uh, every Thursday almost, or Thursday or Monday. These two days are for core spiritual topics like from the Gita and from the Shimad Bhagavatam. So, and there are many playlists like overcoming darkness that helps us to get rid of depression sometimes <laughs> because each one of us can get depressed in some point of our life to some extent we may not go into a, a lunatic asylum or a place where mad people stay but there definitely can be times where we feel very low we feel down we feel depressed we feel stressed we feel masked so then we can uh, watch that playlist videos in that playlist are specifically designed for this purpose and then there are uh, many other playlists like how to become more attractive yes and everything is concerned with spiritual topics so there's not much mundane materialistic stuff there inside like how to do makeup or how to uh, go to the gym and get your body in shape and all this stuff but it's more of how to utilize what you already have inside all right so most all, almost all of my videos they have this focus that we may have things externally or we may not have we may look great we may be having lots of knowledge or we may not we may have a <coughs> lot of wealth or we may not we may not have uh, power we may not have affluence but definitely we can have influence and influence doesn't mean that when you speak 10 people listen or 100 people listen to you it simply means that we have we have a sincere and genuine intention to improve the lives of people that's what is the meaning of influence in my opinion so if you are able to transform the life of one single person also in this planet earth then you are very lucky you are definitely empowered by god that means because in scriptures it is said that uh, there's a Bengali saying Krishna Shakti Bina Nahet Kar Pravartan Parivartan. <laughs> it means without God's empowerment, without Lord Krishna's empowerment, you cannot change. <laughs> so, whichever faith, whichever religion, whichever tradition you are following, your uh, your scriptures your guru their words all right they are the most important words and <clears throat> we can always improve our lives by constantly associating with our gurus especially in the weekends we can join some spiritual center which is there in our city town or village 
yes nearby or in the metro <laughs> nowadays there are many temples many spiritual organizations many centers yes so we can get benefit out of them then we can also uh, give donations monetarily or we can also offer a helping hand to them yes or to other people in general and then we can also do our own reading of the scriptures every day like every day we can read one shloka from uh, the bhagavad gita or if you are born in a christian family or if you follow christianity not christian in your passport not not hindu in your passport not muslim in your passport if you actually follow christianity the 10 commandments which jesus christ had laid down <laughs> thou shall not kill that's one of the 10 commandments yes so that that uh, extends to animals also it doesn't only extend to human beings all right and uh, if you follow the proper injunctions of the vedas the puranas the upanishads or you call yourself a hindu or you call yourself a muslim you are following the quran fantastic if you are following any genuine scripture if you are following that's fantastic you will definitely obtain spiritual perfection there is no doubt of this fact all right so if we are following then we need to mention we need to ensure that we keep following them consistently all right not that oh today we are uh, today there is a kumbh mela in india yes i mean it's not there now but maybe it's going on <laughs> or maybe it got over but the point is that suppose there is kumbh mela or there is ram navmi or there is janmashtami or there is shivratri yes all these festivals are there not only do we do spiritual practices only in those days but we also do it regularly like we eat food every day we drink water every day we talk to our parents every day we talk to our children every day we talk to our husband we talk to our wife every day so then why don't we talk to god every day <laughs> yes that's a facility which we can all avail and and the beauty is suppose you are wanting to talk with the uh, with with somebody then that person may not have time for you yes or you may not have time to talk to that person any time but you can talk to god any time and he will always listen to you he will always uh, answer your prayers okay but the problem is when we are in the beginning days of our spiritual journey then we equate the messages of god and the blessings of god through our material prosperity so for example if somebody is in the beginning stages of his spiritual life then he can make some prayer oh god give me a good wife give me this car give me this give me that yes give me a million dollars so then when his karma reciprocates accordingly reciprocates accordingly means one when he gets what he deserves then if it is in line with his list of desires which he has for god then he thinks that god exists then he thinks god is great then he thinks god is blessing him then he thinks that everybody should be a worshipper of god but then suppose karma gives things which are not there in his list of wants <laughs> which happens most of the times then the person says that oh god doesn't exist god god is a figment of imagination which is created by men all right so therefore i have started the shrimad bhagavatam playlist so in shrimad bhagavatam i have already discussed about that shloka yes dharma projita kaitavatro paramo nirmatsara nam satam yes that beautiful shloka is there so that shloka tells us that shrimad bhagavatam kicks out any religious texture within hinduism or outside hinduism which deals with only mundane materialistic stuff yes going to the heavens going here going going to the this place getting that go, getting siddhis all these are considered to be the useless rubbish garbage of this material world the only pure spiritual consciousness which is there inside is the connection to god so shrimad bhagavatam says go to god but do not go for asking material things of course we can ask them but they will be fulfilled only as per our karma all right so whenever we are doing some spiritual practices our we should never put our material 
barometers for the success of our spiritual advancement okay now like many times people say there was a lady who told me once that she used to pray to lord shiva very much but then what happened one day she became a widow her husband died it was a premature death and then she said that day i stopped worshiping lord shiva why because he did not fulfill my list you know <laughs> yes so we should never ever ever keep our we should never see the blessings of god as advancement in our material life and whenever he takes away something we should never see that he has punished us or something like this we get punished by our own karma god does not punish us <laughs> all right so and how do we know that god has actually blessed us well there are many feature factors by which we can know primarily there are three ways by which we can know the shrimad bhagavatam says there are three symptoms of spiritual advancement and when you have these three then you can understand that that is actually a blessing from god from lord vishnu from krishna from ram because this is irrespective of your material situation all right so suppose you get a million dollars that that has to be there in your karma only then you get that but these three symptoms of spiritual advancement will come to a beggar a pauper one who has 10 rupees one who has a million dollars or one who has trillion euros all right because they are exclusively under the domain of lord vishnu and they act at a level which is beyond our material conception okay and our karma apart from these three everything else is within the domain of karma inside which we are already bound all right so what are these three symptoms by which you can know that god has actually blessed you irrespective of your material situations all right so the first thing this the bhagavatam says is that when you eat something what happens you feel completely satisfied yes that's the secondary actually the first thing is what when you are eating something which is very good then you f- feel feel it it's very tasty right you want to keep eating it more and more and more suppose you take a nice gulab jamun <laughs> then you like to eat it more 1 2 3 4 5 6 like that although we may put a pause but our taste buds don't get satisfied so we want to keep eating more and more and more so whenever we are doing spiritual practices like we are reading the uh, shrimad bhagavatam for example or we are visiting holy places or we are associating with our gurus and spiritually connected people and we are spreading the spiritual knowledge then if we feel like doing it more and 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 more then that is the first symptom that god has actually blessed us and when you keep eating what happens gradually your hunger subsides you feel completely satisfied so the second symptom that somebody is definitely blessed by god yes is that all his material cravings they go away or it reduces very much so i'm very happy that uh, many 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 people have messaged me and they still keep messaging me and hopefully they will continue to message me in my in the future also that by seeing my videos they have given up uh, things like you know drinking smoking or indulging in illicit sex watching pornography adult material then so many things in youtube which they used to keep seeing yes meat yes that's one thing and uh, so many people they message me that uh, our lives have changed after watching your videos so i was very happy to see all those messages and i hope that i can keep seeing such messages uh, till the end of my life so so that's the second thing you see that your material cravings will go down all right material cravings go down doesn't mean that you will not have a desire to eat you will not have a desire to or do anything in life it means our sinful tendencies they will go down all right sinful tendencies means those activities which are not permitted by the scriptures because they will bereft us from the higher spiritual realization so for example activities like uh, eating meat or drinking wine or you know any kind of intoxication then indulging in illicit sex and then indulging in things like gambling so they will deviate us from our core spiritual purpose so these are prohibited activities these four activities so our cravings for these four activities will go down all right so that is one very big symptom that god has actually blessed us 
and then what's the third symptom the third symptom is that when you are when you are eating something great and your stomach is completely full and after some time what happens you get a lot of strength in your body yes so that strength is compared to the strength which uh, we get when we get a desire to spread spiritual knowledge okay so when you are just eating you are just taking things but when you are doing work you are actually giving out your energy okay so if you if your desire to spread the message of god to spread the message of the scriptures that has increased after provided these two things have happened first is your taste in doing performing spiritual activities have in, in, in increased then your material sinful tendencies have gone down and then the third thing happens which is your desire to spread god's message the knowledge of god that keeps increasing okay so if these three things have happened then actually you know that god has blessed so next time you see or you hear somebody telling you know god has blessed him or her god has blessed me yes so generally when somebody gets married they say oh god bless you <laughs> so next time when you say that god bless you you should mean it from inside that whenever god blesses remember these three things will always happen and i'm not just cooking it from myself these things are mentioned in the shrimad bhagavatam and because shrimad bhagavatam was written by maharishi vyas in the pinnacle of his spiritual perfection spiritual realization after he wrote all the vedic scriptures that is why uh, that is known as the paramhamsa samhita paramhams means the one uh, hans is one who can you know separate water and milk and he will only take the water he or she <laughs> and paramhamsa means one who is perfected which means one who will only take spiritual insights spiritual lessons even from this material world and samhita can be considered as a book so paramhamsa samhita is shrimad bhagavatam and there are many other references to shrimad bhagavatam in the divine scriptures okay so we should be reading the uh, scriptures like bhagavatam of course and we can also read rama and we can also read mahabharat inside mahabharat there is gita okay so when we read then these three things will happen and the day these three are happening serially of course <laughs> one two three it's not three to one then we realize that god has actually blessed us and then our conception of god's blessings will rise above our material prosperity things are good materially or things are bad we will not be affected as lord krishna says brahma bhuta prasanna atmana so chati na kankshati sama sarveshu bhuteshu mad bhaktim labhate param right there you go so if you are new to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed then hopefully subscribe to it and if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who is interested to know that how to know if god has blessed you you know so these are the three ways by which we can know okay and if you want a consultation from me then you can go to my website down below in the description section you'll find it down okay and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him <laughs> in these three ways you can find him or his blessings okay until next time wish you good luck bye bye see you